be so Hannah? rude. Hannah. Oh, get off. Hannah, I'm not rude. I'm you saying that because rude. you're you're now sit, you're sitting on a cushion. Well, Therefore, that means you're right. Listen to your voice. Listen to tone. <laughs> how you your expressions. Hey, are. I got my I got your tone right here. Don't give me that evil eyes. Okay. When I went to Alcoholics Anonymous, people would say anonymity. They couldn't say anonymity. You already were talking about this in the other podcast. We can't talk about the same things. I worry about you, David. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so, so Jack is framing us up now, getting us in the right frame. Um, so how come, you know, oh, yes. And I woke up because we did a photo shoot yesterday and you ran upstairs and basically screamed at me awake. It was well, very triggering. It was very you, triggering. I gave you so many uh, deadlines and you completely. I mean, I fell asleep because I was so tired because I worked. I got up 545 in the morning, but you uh, chosen to go to sleep <laughs> for a nap. Just before my friend Arthur Vidak, who is brilliant Arthur, photographer, Arthur Vidak, who is brilliant photographer, he's a good photographer. But uh, but mm. I knew exactly what we had to do, which was basically we were going to wear cotton t long sleeves shirts with denim shirts. So the three of us, and I knew, and and I had all the gear done. But you come up, and oh boy, you were. Ah, you da, 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 and no, screaming at me. No, you were, I Hannah. said, why aren't you downstairs? Yeah, but I mean, you know. All of a sudden, David is and a now, and, and can I just junkie, say, gym you, junkie. And you, but you know, you like, were supposed it to doesn't be, really make his you were outlook better. Uh, can I? And you were supposed to be here at seven p.m. and it's now seven forty-four. Okay, and nobody's given out to you. Uh, hey Jack, Daniel, Maybe can you? We should fix the curtains. I don't know. They kind of look. Which ones? Well, both of them, I think. Which ones? These ones? Really <laughs> Which ones? Well, both of them, I think. They're What's both kind of? But they're all kind of not s straight. Well, while David's doing that, I might as well. Go on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to And That's Why We're Not Together Starring David McSavage and Hannah Andrews Oh yeah, and, and, and Jack and Daniel My friend, Daniel, I mean that's not professional but anyway what i'm i, I want to say yeah because this, this this podcast exudes professionality doesn't it professionality you see that's like an american making up words professional you know that you know the americans they have this uh, uh grammarly do you ever see that grammarly and that's not even a word and it's a, it's an app that's supposed to improve your grammar it probably does oh christ Anna. okay uh <laughs> Am I in the shot framed correctly, Jack? Yeah, but you look like shit, but I can't help that. Uh, maybe we should not use the music because each time we have a podcast, we get an email that we can't monetize it. Because no, we can use that music. Because yeah, but like some other music we're using. Every podcast we're using no, some sort no, of we, music. We, we get, we get, we're ineligible uh, a lot of the times for monetization because of the content of what we're talking about. Oh, no. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no. then fuck it anyway. I, 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 this no, I mean, David gets the emails from YouTube. From YouTube, yeah. But that he can't monetize because of the music. But should the amount of money that you'd get anyway for uh, for 2,000 views is fairly fucking, you know, it's 0.04p or something. Anyway, can we not um, discuss <laughs> the business side of our podcast on the podcast? Because people really don't give a shit. Well, uh, uh, that's... Uh, huh? Okay, like, subscribe, and be no. And here's follower. the other thing. Can I just say? <laughs> can I just say the other thing? Right. Anytime I'm looking at a you, you uh, a video on YouTube, and somebody get hey, it's really important. Like and subscribe. I've ne I've never in the history of my life liked or subscribed. I would think the only the only way we stubborn. The only other people are different than you. The only way, Jack and Daniel. 
It's Jack, opposite. Can I, can I talk to Jack and Daniel? Can you hear? Why are you? Is there somebody outside? No. Uh, there, there's just noise. There's noise. Uh, why don't we shut the window? Because we want to let air in. Because if it but gets too you, hot. If it gets too it's hot. It's cold today. It doesn't matter. In, in Edinburgh, during the festival, I noticed that it didn't matter how good a uh, comedy show was. 40 minutes in. People would get well, tired. Well, we're not going to go more than 40 minutes, okay? And also start putting less clothes on. Oh, God. De- Jack, <laughs> close the F window. Uh, I miss being able to do this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh no, I'm not going. Do back we? Do there. we still? Do we? Uh, somebody, I, I, uh, somebody in the comments said, please use uh, dance hall days at the end. Yeah, I, I replied to him that I do it, so we can do it for this episode. Wait, just, just pl- press it there for. You. Okay. It's such a good. Uh, it just reminds me of the a- '80s. Mm. Take your baby by the hand. Take him. Your- oh, it's a good start. Okay, here we go. Take it, but fuck! It does it not. It takes a while. I mean, people had take it better attention spans. Look, all in the in. in the go on, da- dance like they did in the eighties, Hannah. Oh, oh, did they do in the eighties? Okay. Everybody, throw your hands in the air. Uh, we're going. We're the bus. The magic bus. <coughs> the fun bus is going out to Fox Rock. <laughs> God, can you imagine me on the fucking fun bus? Fuck me in the face. Uh, this is going out to Teraline and Maxian. This is Dance All Days. Uh, the bus has picked you up at uh, five o'clock. I'll take you out to Fox Rock. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, listen, Hannah. Annoying. Okay, Hannah, we were supposed to start at 7 p.m. And you're all about, let's do it. Let's in giving out and telling people what to do. Meanwhile, what did you do? You fell asleep, Hannah. You fell asleep. <laughs> and you're sleepy and useless I'm now. I'm sleepy <laughs> and useless. And, and, Thank and, you. And by the way, Hannah, yeah, no, because you are working a lot, aren't you? Yeah, I was uh, working recently quite a lot yeah. on First City. And then I, I was just stressed out about your... Um, that returns. Okay, so uh, mm, lo- oh, I love that one. Love that anecdote. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> my brother Barry uh, was canvassing in the area and walking around with, with me. Who? With with Michal Martin. Oh. Michael oh, Martin. Martin. And and, and uh, like, Mich- uh, Michael Martin. He's dressed. He's dressed in a way that is a very kind of uh, high power political. You know, deep navy sort of presidential suit and uh, I was looking at him from a distance and I literally thought it was a fucking mannequin <laughs> and uh, but then he then he started moving and uh, he has a very he's got, got that fixed grin very much like Mary Robinson and he's from Cork and uh, I love Cork people and they don't Cork people don't care if you love Cork or not because yeah. they love it more than you can ever understand or love it but irrespective it's, it's a of that it's of self love what is no, being from Cork because they love them so much, so you don't need to love them, and they don't give a shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know. Jack. Um, so uh, Jack went. This is quite interesting. Jack. Wait, went, wait, wait, hold on. Can we talk about Mikhail Martin nearly what killing did he our do? mother? <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, we can show a video of. Uh, uh, you can. I can send you the video. So yeah. Jack Barry and Michael Martin. Michal Martin. They Mikhail. were they were doing kicky ups. What do they ki- keep ups? What keep ups? Shall- I, I was I was doing the tricks essentially. What do, what do you call those things? Uh, uh, keepy uppies, juggling. Keepy up. Keepy uppies is when you uh, keeping it up with one foot, and juggling is when you're using both feet. Okay, so um, and being a legend is when you're me. And then and then uh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> and then Michal Martin kicked the ball and almost hit <laughs> hit Hannah in, the, uh, in head. the head. And then afterwards, Hannah was saying. Mayhem Martin tried to assassinate me. <laughs> Showing off the policy um, towards uh, foreigners because I'm Polish. He tried to kill me, <laughs> get rid of me. He tried to get rid of you. He tried to kick the ball towards your head. Yeah, it's just like it passed like five mi- centimeters. That's so funny. It'd be so funny if he, he was, did. He was trying to do a trivial like Luka Modric. <laughs> So just have wrong shoes and but anyway it's bike. quite a racket isn't it um these uh politicians they every four years they appear at your door and just kind of you know 
hey, look, uh, I'm here now. So what have you got to say? And then you have people going, well, what about the, you know, the seagulls and, you know, whatever. And it's all shite, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, I've I said saw it before. People really enjoying shaking the hands and yeah, yeah. talking to them yeah, because, yeah. Um, well, some of the people, I, people like to be seen. I, I, I've said it before. Um, if you are young, do not look to the government for any kind of guidance or support, unless you know you're in a serious fucking situation. But you know, figure out your own way. Yeah, to because you are in their pocket. Figure uh, indoctrinate. Who you. is? You know, like, you know, if you put your hand toward the government. Well, to, to put your hand towards anyone is a weak position to be in. I would expect yeah. no man or woman to do that. Or anything in between, says you. What? <laughs> OK, listen, just figure out a way to create your own wealth. That's all I'm trying to say. And if that means going out yeah. onto the street and taking the piss out of people walking by. Yeah. Uh, Jack, what happened? Uh, when I was on my cycle. Yeah. Uh, well, Jack was uh, basically recruited first into Scientology. Yeah. I love Tom Cruise. <laughs> and Tom Cruise loves you. Uh, so me and uh, me and my friend Connor, we were on a cycle up to Boher Nabarina, uh Reservoir Park. Very nice if you if you're ever partial for a cycle or a drive up there. But on the way back, we were passing through Fur House, and my friend Connor noticed uh, a beautiful building. And uh, it said the Scientology Center. So we went up to the guy in the high vis. We decided we we're going to go check it out. We went up to the guy in the high vis. Can we get a tour, maybe? He said, yeah, go on. Go in there. So we see there's a cafe. And there's all these, like, uh, girls there who are dancers. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, like, a dancing competition going on. But at the time, we thought they were all Scientologists. These little <laughs> Scientology dancers. How, how old were the dancers? They were all, like, a range of ages, like teenagers up to young adult i think anyway we go to the cafe we get the coffee uh and 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 as we're getting the coffee uh this dutch guy comes up to us and he's kind of like hey uh do you want the tour you know we get guys coming in here and we want to give the tour and we were kind of a bit weirded out you know so we were like we're just gonna drink the coffee first and then we'll, we'll come and find you and um so we sit down outside lovely day take a sip of the coffee and Jesus, this coffee is the best coffee I've had, I've had in a long time. Oh, shit. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. So <laughs> wait a second. They got you. They got you. <laughs> and, and, and this place, you knew before you went into the uh, place that it was the Scientology Center? Yeah, well, I think Connor had seen it before. Oh, wh where is it? It's it's a, it's a, somewhere in Fur House, kind of edge of Tala. So I, I thought they had a Scienti Scientology, Scientology Center... Uh, in Talbot Street, just off O'Connell Street as well. I thought they had one there. I I'm sure they have them everywhere. Okay, mm. sorry, go on. A nice place. Yeah, Lo lovely. I mean, everything's perfect, pristine. You know, people yeah. are enjoying themselves. <laughs> anyway, we have the coffee. And we were we were looking at each other and just laughing. And just, like we just had one or two. Like, mm, Jesus, this is amazing. This coffee. <laughs> it's just cracking up laughing. And then we had a cookie, and the cookie was even better. Anyway, mm. so we decided based on the coffee and the cookie, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go for the tour. So we see the Dutch guy who's obviously just hanging around us the whole time, and we say, "Let's do the tour." And then suddenly, someone else comes out and he starts going, "Oh my God, your bikes are so amazing! They're they're such good looking." Oh, bikes. they're they're love bombing you. Yeah. Uh, so we so we asked the guy here, "Listen, we need to lock the bike somewhere." And he goes, "Oh yeah, we have a room downstairs." Uh, downstairs. Because <laughs> he's Dutch. What do you mean you have a room? I know he's Dutch. I know you're doing the Dutch accent, Jack. And uh, Hannah, uh, why do they have a, a bike room? No, they downstairs? don't have. They just have like a little special. And you went room downstairs with some stranger. Well, 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 we looked at each other and we were thinking, the fuck. But you know, you know, when you, there's a train wreck going on, you can't look away. Like we were curious, the curiosity. What's Killed the, the cat. Yeah. What's the train wreck? You know, people can't look away from a train crash. Well, this is, doesn't sound like a train wreck. It just sounds like somebody being nice to you. Do well, you why are you? Coming across, what? <laughs> you're what you're you? asking me because he's like he's like, hey, I'm a guy you've never met before. Do you want to come downstairs to a small room? And well, Jack's he, did, he like, didn't say I'm gonna put Jack's my finger like, up your ass. Jack's like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> there are two of them. Yeah, there's two of us. I oh, could I okay, could then. take him. He was about half my size. I could take him. Oh my god, <laughs> Anna. I'm so worried. I could put him in my pocket about you. and teach him about Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. You go downstairs. Yeah. With so we go downstairs. Master and commander. Yeah. Go anyway, on. so he opens the door. I see there's another bike there. So I'm like, all right. 
we go in one at a time so the door isn't locked behind us. <laughs> anyway, the tour starts and as soon as we get in the the building, the tour starts properly. Like everything just kind of changed. Like the whole mood it kind of got a bit more intense and he's like he had these deep blue eyes like dark blue eyes that were just kind of staring at you uh so he starts going uh i want you guys to visualize your living room now point to me where your uh tv is so he points the tv i'll point where your window is point to the window now point where your kitchen is and we point to the kitchen and he starts going on like go on now you can see all this in your head, okay? It's in your brain. But is it really in your brain? Or is it all around you? Is this all data that you can uh, actually have within you? And he started going, it was very co convoluted, complicated about quantum physics because he was talking about L. Ron Hubbard, the guy who started Scientology. Uh, he was a quantum physicist and all this. He was kind of in, stuff. in me whole a quantum fi quantum. Physicist. I don't know. He's, he's saying all this stuff. Anyway, ultimately, at the end of this section, he was saying. If you try hard enough, you can know, and we're inside the building, no windows, you can know what's going on inside the car park. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's basically saying this, so we're like, right, interesting. Anyway, we, we See, so that's why... It's fun that's, that's as what, well. It's fun, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's why Tom Cruise is all like... You know. Yeah. But anyway, we go on with the tour. The most interesting part of the tour for me and Connor was we went into this room and... Uh, we noticed the guy, the guy seemed very sure of everything, like kind of more like higher up than everyone else. But when he, we got into this room, he said, oh, it's OK if I show these guys around. And the guy was kind of like, yeah, that's fine. You know, he had this kind of like, you know, people who talk slowly kind of have like an aura. They're, they're, they're the head of something, you know, right. and uh, we go in and he's telling us something. But he's sitting across from a young boy. So me and Connor are like right ears off. We're just listening at the left ear what he's saying to the boy. He says something to the boy. He says, um, uh, do you ever uh, not do what your parents tell you to do? Or do you ever get angry at your parents? How old, he, do, how old is the boy? Maybe 10, 11. And he's saying, and he said, I don't. He could be 13. Anyway, he said, I don't. And then he says to him, now replace I don't with I do. So he was doing that whole thing, like, you know, uh, indoctrinating yeah. him, essentially, like yes. getting him to follow everything he says. And we thought that was bizarre. And uh, but yeah, and you were watching it. Yeah, well, we were we, listening out of one. Yeah, ear. yeah, listening out of one ear. Um, and then they were showing us uh, their study rooms. So they have supervisors, they don't have teachers because everyone learns at a different pace. And we went in there. People are reading. <laughs> you know and like Amazing. they call over the supervisor and um they showed us their treatment center uh, apparently their treatment for drug addiction and alcohol addiction is like the most oh my god i need that <laughs> and, and so basically it's like five hours a day people do like running on a treadmill into a sauna running mm. on a treadmill into a sauna um which i think that you know that part of it you know yeah well enough. that's yeah that's got nothing to do with scientology uh, anyway look um yeah go on and and then so so then uh, at the very end uh he did this machine i think it's the auditing machine right where you hold two things the fuckers they, they audited jack <laughs> yeah but i did it willingly you know it's yeah, just a lie detector he, he, test he was he was going willingly just having yeah. a but you, you, you were, are you? I would do it as well. well, well I mean, I'm actually gonna go. I want to taste the coffee. This, this and is this cookie. is the this is the thing about Scientology. From the outside, it's nice. If you go into Scientology, right? Because that's what they do. They prey on kind of desperate people who are yeah. looking to improve their lives, and they're and well, they're not sure Tom what to Cruise? and they're not sure what to do. Okay, these are the people that join Scientology. So and they treat them very badly. But these are people that are going into it, you know, and willingly going into it. But on the surface anyway how it looked like they had a nice community center they invite the community down to do whatever they want they have an auditorium with 1000 seats mm. you know they do music what? with 1000 seats did you see it yeah it's, and it, and it's would, great. It, would it would it like what what does would it, would it be turn it into a comedy club <laughs> Scientology, Scientology Comedy Club. Yeah. <laughs> the most se self-aware Scientology center. <laughs> Hi everyone. In the world. Welcome. To the Scientology Comedy Club. <clears throat> where are you from? Don't tell me. Let me guess. No, I know. I, I know where you're from. I can from. read you. I can tell you. 
Let me take you forward to a thousand lifetimes. Anyway, um, so but 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 there he was he was nice and friendly and uh, well definitely intense. You yeah, know? like he's kind of telling you things that are like you can know what's going on in the next room, like stuff like this. And then and he's kind of saying it as if it's fact. And then after know? the auditing, I can't believe that. How long did that take? No, he just kind of asked me questions and then I kind of like made myself, you know, the way you can make yourself kind of almost hyperventilate inside, you know, you can mm. make it. So I was doing that to see if the, the thing would. So it's basically a lie detector test, you know, that it's got a, a, a like a radio. Well, a lie detector thing. test, they, they put it up to your heart and you're this. And yeah, you're breathing. But, but obviously when you're holding it like that, it can check your pulse yeah, as I'd well. You know, okay. anyway, lie detector tests are bullshit. How long did well. it? How long did it last for? It lasted quite a while. It was like a good hour or something. The what, tour. the auditing? No, the tour. 45 minutes or something. The auditing was quick. I was like, all right, don't ask me any more questions. And then he then he was saying to us, uh, do you want to watch some videos? And we're like, nah, nah, we got to go. We got to watch the last day of the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think... Do you want to watch some videos? Yeah, because in the centre, there's... Um, uh, you can go and watch the videos yourself in the center. Yeah, you, there are probably educational videos, according to that. God, you are such a ripe candidate for Scientology. Yes, yes. Uh, all this uh, kind of like niche uh, uh, religion. Hannah, and don't you go, dare go near there. Yeah, and I, I definitely, I'm very gullible. I'll, 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 I'll bring you there, Hannah. Don't, don't bring her there. <laughs> Hannah? You know, like all this uh, in, in new age sort of Hannah. heal yourself. But uh, you know? if, if anyone wants to learn about Scientology uh, in a like, so I'd say watch something about Scientology, like from their point of view, and then watch Louis Thoreau's Going Clear documentary, I believe it's called. And uh, he so Louis Thoreau has been involved <coughs> with trying to find out about Scientology for years. Um, and and he hires actors to kind of replicate what goes on in Scientology mm. based on people who have been part of Scientology. It's very interesting. But anyway, I, I would say also like um, any belief system, uh, pe when people have power, it, it uh, corrupts them. I mean, look at the Catholic Church, for God's sake, and are the beliefs. Well, Scientology is way out there in terms of. I their, mean, is, their is, is, is just hold on one second. Is, is, well. is a company like Nestle, is that more benign than Scientology? Yeah, it is a Scientology kind of thing, Nestle. But you know what, Nestle. They want to take over water from people and sell it. <laughs> but you know, there, at one point he was going on about like um, uh, pharmaceutical drugs, herbicides, pesticides, and I was like, Jesus, this sounds like Hannah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's true. They probably, you know, they very clever. They mix true stuff yeah, with yeah. other things, which which they because they very clever. They can manipulate, and most what they they want to do, like um, um, other organization, yeah, extract money from people. But you know, and it was, build it, their it, it own was, wealth. It was like going into um, like like the Matrix, you know, because people were wearing these kind of like they had a. Uh, a uniform certain people the, gu the guys there they were wearing turtleneck black jumpers tucked into these black trousers you oh know? yeah like and like the, on the starship enterprise yeah and there's like and there's one guy going like <coughs> every time he passes hi guys how are you <laughs> yeah oh, come but on. you know did you see klaus schwab from world economic forum oh. what he wears he wears exactly this kind of like armor, yeah. like from Star Trek. Okay, um, okay. Well, I'm not making it I up. I know, I know. It's, it's there. I know. Um, okay. I know. Can I say something? Yes, please. Thanks. Uh, Jack, uh, Daniel, did you watch? I, I, I just did you watch the fight between John? Um, well, uh, what's going on? Why are you all yeah. fucked up now? You asked me about the science. I am. I just. <laughs> I, I, I just. Uh, it's just what? I don't know. What, what are you so are you like like a balloon? Somebody prick you. You were floating before. Now you just like uh, dying. <laughs> <laughs> cut this out! Cut this out! You have to cut this out. Uh, There's no air in this room. There is. It's fine. The, the air. The window is open, <laughs> David. I mean, like. It's not the air. It's just. It's just when you start talking about Klaus Schwab. Yeah, thank you. Ah, That's David, better. I just said one sentence. I mean, like, hello? It's just what? an accumulative effect. Anyway, it's anyway just, it, people it's in the very comments. Triggering. Sorry, people in the comments are very uh, with Hannah. You okay, know? go on. So, go I, on mean, I mean, people in Even the comments want to hear 80, more. Even though there's 80% of men 
and you think that you're so righteous i'm not advocate i'm just pointing a little bit from other side what other side i decide from different perspective you know so you can't it's a, no i guess like I, okay honestly what it was okay let's engage <laughs> it, it just put me there jack was saying that you know this whole scientology thing right uh, and they dress in a certain way and they all very hey how you doing and they all look like they're on the deck of the starship enterprise and then you you started going yeah klaus schwab and i'm just thinking oh god uh, and it just—it was just, get, no, but but it was just getting into the area and field of uh, <coughs> conspiracy theory. Them, you That's know, the Lumina. World, the oh, and since when World then, Economic and, Forum is and so it just deflates. It me, exists. E, there are and, and then oh, minutes from the yeah, but, you, but David, you see what you did there is you actually did like what you know. You when when someone doesn't isn't interested in what you're saying, like, yeah, right. Like what you did there, you made Hannah, you radicalized Hannah there. <laughs> you know that's essentially. Well, what actually, you did. do you know? Do you know? That's interesting. Okay, well, do you know what it is? Right, I, I was, you know, uh, I talked to my neighbor. Let's call her. Uh, uh, what, 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 I'm trying to think of it. Cynthia. Cynthia, right? So Cynthia. Uh, Any time I talk to Cynthia, she cannot stay awake. Like <laughs> young woman. A uh, good-looking woman, <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to her. And about your anything, it doesn't shirts? matter what I'm talking to Are her. You about. Jim? Doesn't uh, matter. <laughs> doesn't matter what I'm talking to her about. A nice interruption, by the way. Love it. And uh, whatever I talk to her about, Jack. Within two seconds, you can see her struggling to stay awake, right? And then she's just not interested in what I'm. She's not interested. She's not picking up what I'm laying down, babes. And then, you know, then this other guy, John, arrives on the scene, you know, my other neighbor. And uh, he's, not, he's not as interesting as me, but she's, <laughs> she's like this. Look, in my head, uh, she's, she's like, oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Love her. I'm looking at Fuck me. She, he's not interesting. But like the minute I talk, she's like... <clears throat> It's funny, isn't it? Like, I mean, yeah. Like, like, do you, I, do you think he's interesting, uh, Hannah? Well, no, I, don't, she, I don't know, John, but I heard you talking about shirts. No, but it doesn't. And Jim, over and over it doesn't, again. It doesn't, I'm sorry. It's just like you want to run. <laughs> it doesn't matter who the people are. It's happening all over the world. It, like, it's just if you're young and somebody finds you attractive, you can just kind of go. Um, I stepped in a puddle. <gasps> <laughs> well, can I, I just, love can, puddles. Can I just say something oh, you about little, you, David? What? Because well, so you're, 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 you're sitting outside. <laughs> you're sitting outside on the bench, and then people walk by and they start talking to you, and you're so uninterested in anything anyone has to say. Not all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. But a lot of the time that you go, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'll tell you about oh, this. Right. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. You just want to talk. Yeah. You just want to talk. Whatever yeah. you're talking yes, about. Yes. Yes. And you're thinking that you're like a messiah. Look at you. <laughs> you know, you just, you know, you just monetizing their attention. <laughs> what What was it, honey? You were saying about the larger than life character. You saw someone else that reminded you of David. Oh, I don't like so, this guy he walked into. I think he was a director or something. He walked into a shop and he's all like, "Donnie Refer," and he's like, "Oh, oh uh, yeah, oh, uh, um, John so, Carney." John Carney, yeah, they they sort of look alike. And well, he, John was probably just having a bit of crack with you. No, he didn't know that I was there. He didn't see me. Yeah, but he he lives near there, so he knows everybody in there. Yeah, but like he didn't see me, and he was like in the middle of a Donnie Brook Fair and saying to his child uh, Johnny I am gonna buy salami come <laughs> here like I am an emperor and they're gonna serve me soon <laughs> so, sort of like um, you know. well you know uh, he's, he's he's filming a new yes. uh, thing a new thing with Paul Rudd who I wouldn't you know be yeah I well. love his uh, film I Which mean one? love uh, this one um, begin again no, no, no. Once. Once, yeah. yes. I love the movie. Okay. So, did you see uh, the fight between uh, Tyson... Tyson Fury! And... Alexander Usyk. Did you see it, Jack, Daniel? Yes, it was great. Did you think uh, Fury was going to win before the fight, Jack, Daniel? I definitely thought... Uh, 
uh, Fury was going to win the fight up until I watched that Engano fight. But I still thought, you know, more than likely Fury's going to win because of the size. But I, I mean, I have to say, I, w- I wasn't counting Usyk out at all because that guy is ridiculous like with his uh with his footwork and how technically sound he is at boxing when seeing how he beat joshua twice was like wow i think what we don't what we don't what i don't understand or most regular folk don't understand civilians is that um uh like a punch a, a weaker punch early on in the fight wouldn't affect you but when you're in nine rounds in and you're so exhausted uh, to be punched while you're so out of breath. Were, were people saying something about that? Or? N- no, I'm just saying that I, I'm amazed by the level of skill and fitness, endurance, determination of these fighters. Okay. Courage. What? Oh, yeah, fair play. Yeah. That's a fair play to you, David. Fair play yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was once, I had, because I'm, I'm a makeup artist, so I worked, I had an assignment, I worked for Sky Sport uh, during the boxing match. And I was beside the ring and a amount of body fluid. It just goes everywhere. Oh, because they're punching and sweat yeah, and sweat. blood. Oh, my God. You wouldn't know where the fuck is coming from. Even if they're not having any cut. It's just like it's this, this sort of stuff coming out everywhere so if you sit in the front row you would just so like sitting in the front it. row isn't the best oh jesus really <coughs> yeah, yeah yeah like blood will splatter as well like if you get a boom and it'll splatter like it's splattered on the comments i must say though um that that the size difference was quite quite um there was a co- big contrast in but, this but you know what i i actually thought um uh, I thought Usyk was going to be very challenging for Fury because if you look at Fury's previous fights, he likes bigger men. Yeah, <laughs> sounds <laughs> odd. Yeah, uh, his toughest fight before this, well, it, apart from that Wilder fight and the Ngannou fight, was uh, a fella he fought ten years ago his, or fifteen years ago. His US debut, Steve Cunningham, mm. and Steve Cunningham was a cruiserweight like Usyk, uh, very short. But he, Steve Cunningham, actually dropped him the first time he got dropped in his career which, so, is, which means knock him out no it means drop it so he is the the referee just started doing the 10 count like one oh. two three but he got he got up he got okay. and he, he ended up finishing the fight but in the middle rounds i thought fury uh had Usyk. you know yes um you thought he you thought he had the measure of Usyk. he thought he'd figured him out but yeah. again i think that comes down to the level of fitness he couldn't Weird. I mean, that's what I mean. We see. Oh, come on! But but to to maintain what he was doing when it was working, uh, he would have had to be. He would have had to have been fitter than he actually well, was. Well, I, I think there was a big change uh, of momentum. Uh, Usyk caught uh, Fury with a left hook, I think, and I think you could see in Fury's face. Oh, you mean he, when he? No, he, there was that moment where he punched him yeah, directly yeah, in the nose. Yeah, yeah, and that, and, that, and, he, and he opened him up like it was a hell of a punch and it completely changed the momentum of the fight because yeah because you you you, and the blood was streaming out of his nose but before that fury was the the, he fights the best when he's sticking his tongue out and he's doing all that like messing around with him he was doing the ali stuff you know where he was he was on the sides and his arms are so big he just boom boom hit him on on the sides of the head but then once he got hit with that you could see he almost got like nervous you know but i i'll tell you i felt quite emotional seeing that little rabbit uh usik um uh you know uh struggling against uh, adversity and coming out the other end and it was it was quite something i have to say I, i'm mindful of the fact that people aren't into boxing but fuck it yeah, uh, <clears throat> Liev Schreiber was also emotional. Yeah, at, there's at a lot the, of like celebrities the ma- at the end of the match. He was there, like in the ring. Liev yeah, Schreiber. Liev is, he, oh, is, he, is he Ukrainian? Must be. No, that's an actor. No, no, he was just Liev Schreiber. Yeah, I don't know if he's Ukrainian, but he. No, he, he's no, he's uh, uh, maybe, and he's as uh, you know. But, but it, it, it was. It, it's it's such a uh, look. It's a dangerous. Uh, if you're not into boxing, but there's something. There's it's dangerous. But they're not they haven't lost their temper and they're really well prepared. They're very skilled. Most boxers have to be doing that from very, very young so that it's it's just part of they are boxer. It's like that's what they do. That's That's, a job. That's what they are. 
And to see the, 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 the beautiful thing is just the second it's over, the second. What does what does Fury do? Kisses, <coughs> kisses Usyk on the forehead. Shri- yeah. Schreiber has. But you know what I'm saying, Jack and Daniel. I, I, I just I just think it's so beautiful. Um, beautiful. Well, I think it's, in a very I think, gay I think, way. I think it's a sport as well. Like you know, everyone. You don't need to know what's going on to enjoy it, especially if it's a really good fight. Like that fight was amazing for the the first ten rounds. The last two rounds were uh, underwhelming, but for, for the first ten. <clears> Why do you think the two of them were cruising, just hoping not to? Uh, they just wanted to hang on. Yeah, well, they, I th- they, I think they both thought, thought they, they were, had won. Yeah, and they were. Uh, but you know, when you have two guys like that, like you know, it, you can't leave yourself open. You're going to get knocked out. You know? So there's uh, just 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 to make sure, uh, there's types of punches. These are hooks, right? Like that, yeah. right? Yeah. These are hooks. So if you're if you're if Fury's holding up his uh, hands like this to block punches. Usa can come round or vice versa. You Which know. You see, Fury doesn't really fight like that. He fights with like, you know, one hand down a lot. You know. Okay, but, but I'm just a different type of punches, right? So there's the hooks, then there's the uppercuts, then there's the straights, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. What else is there? Jabs. Jabs. So and all these, uh, if 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 those punches, any of those punches land on the body or the face, they're counted as. Yeah, they're, they're well, well. They're counted as punches, and then that, yeah. th- then the but, but the, it's, the it's, round it's, is scored it, accordingly. But it's up to the judge uh, oh, how he scores the round. So you know, because there's a judge can say, well, that wasn't really that yeah, didn't because connect properly. Say you had you landed twenty punches, and you're a po- <laughs> you landed twenty jabs. Landed twenty punches on the okay, body so there's of the so, opponent. So you say you land a jab that's soft, that's soft enough. Finish. You land twenty of them. And what if someone else lands, nearly knocks you out in the fight, but only hits you three or four times? Well, he's probably won the round, you know? Oh. So that's where the controversy comes into boxing and where people think it's corrupt, where people think judges are paid off. You know, like the one judge scored it for Fury. Oh, yes. Where it's like, I don't know, most people are in consensus that Fury didn't win that fight. Yes. But other people, there are a small majority, a small, uh, there is a minority that says that Fury did win the fight. So it shows you how close the fight was, you know. A small minority, as opposed to a big minor- minority report. Well, I caught myself. Tom Cruise. I caught myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like... I'm what? a little teapot. But yeah, a minority could be like anything Tom under... Cruise. under. Uh, so say the majority is 56%. Yeah. The minority is 45%. I know, I was being a total fucking dickhead. <laughs> I apologize, Jack. Forget about it. Yeah, Jack, yeah, that's good. So that's an interesting point, but um, depending on the strength of the jabs or, yeah, it, dep- it depends on each judge's what they consider to be. Uh, but, but the one know. thing about that fight, I wish it was somewhere with good atmosphere. Like I know uh, Saudi Arabia, fair play, they're doing lots of sports things, but the atmosphere there was shocking. Like, the biggest fight in 25 years and Cristiano Ronaldo and Anthony Joshua are in the front row like having a chat over a coffee you know yeah, Th- yeah. that's what it was you know and it's like you know it should have been in the UK or or somewhere like Ukraine or I mean yes, you yeah. know like and people would be proper up for it like look at the fights like look at George Groves versus Carl Froch yeah you know, yeah, back in yeah. Wembley 80,000 people yeah Drunk off their minds, you know. You can't, you know. No, like, but I know what you mean. A great time. Drunk, no, no, no. No, but I know what you mean, Jack. It does. I know exactly what you mean. I felt the same when. Again, apologize. If people aren't into fighting, but when when Usyk overcame this adversity, and you just didn't think it was possible, because yeah. look at the size difference, and this little Ukrainian man, little six foot two, little, little, but he's, highly he's trained. <laughs> he's highly trained, but he figured out angles and you were looking at him and and you could see there was moments when fury was gone how did how did i get a punch from that angle and and uh, it, it, it was incredible but at the end of the fight there would just seemed there was a flatness it's to so the flat and you, flatness to the atmosphere and because uh, i don't think it was to do with the fact that there was no alcohol uh, or maybe a little bit I th- but i, th- I just I think, think it was to do with it's so it's so uh, you know ordered and yeah, it's, it's, as well, managed as well i mean there's nothing wrong with that like yeah. i don't know something against that you go to countries like saudi arabia you, you know it's it's great you know i mean people are more reserved and they're they they're Oh, well, that, well, that is that actually that is that is true. The what? Hannah, that what prince <laughs> yeah. sitting next to Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. That's how he was expressing his joy, which yeah. was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And shaking his... What are you looking at? Would you stop? You're making some noise. So what? (laughs) Hey, uh, Daniel and Jack, if you ever see, like, Irish people at a restaurant, you know, the the noise is... And they're just fucking roaring, right? And then, you know, French people, you know, there could be eight people over there. And they're not screaming at each other. They're screaming at each other's heads. That's what we're head screamers. Yeah, but yeah. so much more fun than French. I mean, Come I'm here! So, I'm sorry. Like How, sit around the table with six French people and six Irish people. You have much more fun with the Irish people. The French people, mm-hmm. you know, you can take or leave them, the French. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, the wait a culture, second. The cuisine. They, they've the got a small minority of sound people. <laughs> well, it's funny. Um, yeah, well, obviously, listen, you haven't met every French person. There's loads of great met people enough. who happen to be fr- met enough. <laughs> well, I do. I remember going... <laughs> Ab chic. Um when I was when I was a kid Abshake. Sorry, excuse me. When I was a kid, uh I went on an exchange to France when I was thirteen, yes. Hannah. Yes. Yes, and I went to a place called La Baule. And what happened? I can't remember where it is. You but there was a woman called Madame Grapot <coughs> who was looking after us and she fed me food uh, of the like I'd never tasted before. Hannah. Yes. And for the first time in my I, life, I, Hannah. Yeah, no, this is, yeah, it's going to drive you bonkers. This. We heard this. <laughs> yeah, well, and you're hearing it again for the 75th time. <laughs> Hannah, on the podcast. stop. Yeah, and again. And you were Welcome skinny. To, and you and I put on weight and I came back suntanned and gorgeous. And then slowly I turned back into a white, blue, white veined <laughs> vampire hated by it everyone. Was, I'm sorry that, you know. But for a moment, I, it was like a, I breached. I saw the sun. It was like, you know, that moment in a Matrix where he breaks through the clouds. So I do have a very strong connection with France. I like it, you, but you have to speak French and you have to know where to go and who to talk to and who to hang out with. Mm. Obviously, like anywhere else, you're going to have French people. <laughs> yeah, OK, mate, <laughs> fuck up right off. Get away from me, you big energy sucking fuck. <laughs> but there are other people like our friend Marie Jose, who we should have on the podcast, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah that'd be great. She's really funny. <laughs> I will say one thing about, uh, like, you know, you know, we like to give out about ourselves as Irish people or whatever, or our country, but, like, I was, when I, I was I was going around Spain a few years ago, I was staying in hostels, and, uh, you know, you talking to French people, German people, Austrian people, Italian people, whatever, they, you know, you go out for a drink with them, and they're, you know, they take about four hours to finish a beer, you know, and, like, <laughs> You that, know, that's a problem. I, and they're just like, you know, they're all like, you know, like talking about interesting things, you know, and, you know, oh, it's so amazing here. And you go on and on. And they're all like, oh, everything is so great, you know. And he's just like, yeah. And then so I was in Malaga and I and I met this uh, other Irish guy traveling around. And I say it was like the two of us saw each other. We were like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> We we go down to the shop, get a bottle of vodka, bottle of Fanta, Fanta lemon, you know, a big bag of ice. Get the speaker going. Everyone's up on the rooftop drinking fucking sangrias or some pussy shit, and we get the uh, vodka and the and the and the Fanta lemon. Uh, yeah, had a good night. I yeah, know. well, I don't like to hear that, Hannah. I don't know want to hear about vodka and drinking. Vodka, you know what I mean? Getting pissed. We showed them. No, you didn't. No, the, we didn't show them. We were the having a good time. Mo- and the next morning you wake up and you feel like shit. It felt, you great. Know. It felt great the next morning. Well, we well, well, swim. Okay, but I'm saying <laughs> that, you know, uh, if you can only have a good time by drinking, that yeah, means yeah, you, you actually can't have a good time. If you get, So if you, can only, if you can't figure out how to have a good time, sorry, folks, alcoholic speaking, if you can't figure out how to have a good time without drinking, then you don't know how to. Have. My my nose is getting itchy. Why, I'm so why, upset. Why, why do uh, alcoholics have to ruin the fun for everyone? You know, like some know, people we can just actually. No, have it's, a drink. there is. There, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know where you're coming from because I was thinking to the, the same thing about alcoholics. Like they drink themselves to a fucking stupor and they get pissed. And then after you know years and years and years of having a great fucking time and talking shit and making everybody annoyed and pissing people off. Mm. Uh, if you can't preachy, 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 fuck off, mate. Anyway, you've the, had your time. You know, so you're latching on to the bottle of vodka. I knew as soon as I said that you'd latch on to the bottle of vodka. 
But that, that's fine. But it wasn't the bottle of vodka and the big bag of ice and the and the Fanta lemon. <laughs> the Why are you laughing, Jack? <laughs> I don't know. Just, what? Go on. It's such a ridiculous argument. <laughs> go on, go on, Jack. But Daniel. the point about it was, there was someone here from Ireland who doesn't take himself too seriously, can joke about whatever the hell we joke about, can have a conversation about absolutely nothing. If something is shit, he'll say it's shit. Right. Instead of these. Oh, I know, I know, go, Jack. Oh, yeah, you're it's right. So amazing. No, Everything I met, amazing, I met this, you know? I met this girl yesterday, and Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she just there's just that slight frozenness. It's kind of like I'm trying to think that scene in a movie. Oh yeah, like uh, get, get out. You know, get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where they're yeah, like, yeah. hey, how are you doing? And then then behind it is going, oh, help me, help me. <laughs> And you, 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 it, I, I, it's very unnerving. I, I need to be able to, like Jack says, this shy, that's, you know, whatever. And they're, they're kind of like, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, fuck right off. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. I'm not going to ever say that to anybody. <laughs> and then the boyfriend's standing there like, will the two of you stop it? <laughs> yeah, and we're just going on a, you know, okay, good. On a tour. Yeah, we're going on a tour. Would you like to come with us? We're, you the, could put the, your bike in our basement. The cathedral was magical. You could put the bike in our basement. <laughs> oh, yeah? Um, we put you in we the We put bag. you in the basement. Would you like to stay with us? I just want to mention, did you see... Uh, like the, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, that's no, what I was going to say. Did you see the, the, the flight to, um, from London to Bangkok? Or where was it? And uh, the turbulence? That no, no. injured uh, thirty people, and one uh, one man died. What do you have to say heart, about it? Heart attack. No, it was like frightening, yeah. because the turbulence were so strong that people were just fr you know. Yeah. Oh, flying oh, from so the they seat. flew into the eye or into yeah, a storm, they, into a hurricane. Yeah, yeah, like. How did the pilot not see the? There was such a big storm. I don't know. There was. A, Boeing seven seven four seven or it was a seven four seven. Some yeah. Can you look Boeing. it up, Jack? I'm, I'd, I'd be interested to see if it was a seven four seven. I'd be very surprised because that would have to be some motherfucker of a storm. Yeah, it, it, they had to uh, land in emergency. They dropped six thousand feet. Um, okay. As Jack is looking for that, can I just say this whole idea of like and subscribe? I was saying that earlier on mm. in the podcast, like. <laughs> when I, you know, they, they're doing the podcast and then it cuts to, hey, this is how we blah, blah, blah. And we'd really like to just press the like and subscribe. What I'm saying is uh, I, Boeing 777-300 ER. <laughs> oh, seven. How big is a 777? Is that uh, bigger uh, than a 747? <coughs> well, just uh, look up. OK, look, I'm just saying. Can I just Jack? Could you Jack? No, he doesn't need to look at you. He listens Jack, to Hannah. You. Hannah. <clears throat> Jack. The 747's lighter. See, he's still doing it. <laughs> Jack. Than Jack Daniel, please. Jack. Jack, what are you doing? Me. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Okay, look, here we go. The point is, like and subscribe. If you want actually people to like and subscribe, okay? This is I, I'm trying to think, how would they make me do it? So I'm sitting there watching YouTube and then, hey, like and subscribe. No. <laughs> so so I'm trying to talk to people. Look, <coughs> OK, how do you like them? So forget about the like subscribe. So you have to you have to lo be logged in to your YouTube account. Right, Jack? Yeah. Yeah. OK, how do you do that? A lot of people don't do that. They just they're on YouTube. Yeah, well, you connect it to your uh, Google account. You know? They Can usually it, do. Okay, they don't. I don't even easy. know what that fucking is. Okay, so let's log in. It probably has it at the you top don't need right. You do need to log in at top, all. You do need to log in no. to subscribe. As long as you're. You, as you long always as, uh, open my YouTube uh, channel. Ch I'm always there. As long Daniel, as you, you have a Google once. account and you're logged in on your Google account, you don't you'll log be logged out. In on YouTube. Say that again. Sorry, Jack. I as just got so upset have... I had to hit the table for no reason. <laughs> Hannah, stop talking. Sorry, Jack. I didn't mean that. That was a joke. Or was it? <laughs> me <Mihal> Martin. <laughs> he tried to assassinate me. He did. He, he did. Told me to, I to, know. To door, go back home. He's, he's been listening to the uh, uh, Ireland <laughs> first people, I think. Me old Martin tried to assassinate me. That's good. 
Okay, sorry, Jack. <coughs> uh, so if you're, in a, if you're in your Google account... Okay, but know. a lot of people don't... They just use the... Hannah! Okay. <coughs> oh, my God. The coughing and the sneezing. <laughs> I, I, you know, like, I, I cough for three weeks now. It doesn't want to go away. I feel like Emperor Caligula and his, his cousin was coughing. Take her outside and drown her. <laughs> Just, can you imagine? Can you imagine really being that? Can you imagine talking about power though. going to your fucking head? Yeah. Your Caligula. <coughs> Could you get rid of her? Uh, yes, my lord. No, I mean, uh, just. We we had a teacher in a school. He was a very strange guy. Absolutely loved him because he was hilarious. But every time you sneezed, he'd make you go outside and get a tissue. <laughs> So obviously, being little shits, we all just would sneeze the whole class <laughs> every every three minutes. Sorry, could you go get a tissue? <laughs> and then when he was coming around to get the homework, you have your book out, you go, Achoo! and sneeze on the book. And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a terrible story. Okay. That's a terrible story. That, uh, well, that's a terrible gentle. story. Gentle. No, no. That's an gentle. <laughs> That's sweet one of the worst stories. <laughs> no, stories. gentle, sweet stories. And I guarantee that girl who was bored with your stories. <laughs> oh, she'd love him. Oh, love oh she, if, if she if she was talking to Jack and, uh, you know, the sneezing, she'd be like, oh, 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 oh. She would have an orgasm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of a weird Polish brain have you got? What? What? <laughs> Michal Martin, where's the football? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so listen, Hannah. Do, are you signed into your Google account on your phone? On your yeah. on your on your laptop? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever subscribe to YouTube channels? Yeah. How do you do it? I just press the button subscribe. Why does uh, your why uh, does your uh, And actually at the end of our videos we have uh links we have links at the end of our videos for the video that will uh, benefit the viewer the most from our channel. And there's a little circle at the end of the video you can press and that will subscribe for you. And can we also say we're going through a sort of the doldrums at the moment in terms of guests? Because, you know, there is, well, I, I don't know. It's always up to me to ring guests. You were supposed to ring Laura, that great... Uh, uh, yes, she gave me the time, so we just have to uh, agree. Do, you, we do agree. No, we didn't agree because Jack is going away, so we have to... Well, then to... Jack doesn't need to be here then, madame. If we can't... Okay, I'd so rather Jack we, was here, but so he have to we go... Just, so we're just going to... After this podcast, we're going to... I'm going to send I'm so upset date. with you, Hannah. I really am very upset. You've upset me, and I haven't been able to sleep at night, and I've been having nightmares. Happy now? No, it just Happy doesn't now, Hannah. affect me. Oh, yes, because you have evolved and transcended normal human <laughs> behavior. You're above the rest of us looking down from I the clouds. I ain't bothered. Yeah, well, you might not be bothered, but I am in the gutter <laughs> looking at the stars. Who said that? Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Um, Jack, Jack, what are you doing with the music? I was just playing the outro. Oh, wait, Jack, <laughs> did you have anything for Conspiracy Corner? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, Scientology. That was oh, my yeah, conspiracy that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. order. That, that well, was. I mean, look, um, <coughs> this guy, L. Ron Hubbard, was a science fiction writer and he was very prolific. And I think he hit on something that was kind of. He was quite channeling the messages from God, from universe, oh, from boy. higher spirit. Oh, boy. And you see, this is what this is what the people <laughs> yeah. who joined signed it. And but, I'm, but, I'm but, but the way the, 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 the organization is incre incredible. Like, if you look at how it's run, it's incredible. Yes. It's extremely wealthy. You can see th when you go there, everything, as you say in the kitchen, is soigné. Everything's clean as hell. Yeah. Everything's ordered. Their organization is like Incredible. Well, yes, that's interesting. Global isn't it? So, so actually, what what you want to, what you want to do is not be uh, n not not have any issue with people who have beliefs. It's just if you can just question beliefs without upsetting people. But well, that's you, the thing about science. Really that's the thing that. about Scientology. You question anything, and they're just like you know. They, oh, they, they don't start, like it. Start looking at you. But it's the just, same with all their, their heads start shaking. But yeah. it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, no. I want, you, you, wanted, you, you, you to question to Christians. Just fine. A lot uh, of them question uh, a lot of Muslims. No, it's fine. Uh, listen, if you go to uh, 
a Catholic church, it's a doctrine and you can't change it. That's not unless true. It is. It's not it true. Is. Not all the places. Okay, can we just say the, the Lord's Prayer before the end of the show? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed mm-hmm. be thy name. Thy I, kingdom I come. Thy will be done. As on earth. As it will be in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread. bread. And forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses. For, actually, let's talk about it. Forgive us our trespasses. What does that mean? That means forgive us of our, our sins, sins. Of our trespasses. trespasses. Yeah, trespassing. The trespassing from the world of, of uh, goodness. Oh, I forgive you for being sin. rude to me when I just woke up. <laughs> forgive <laughs> us your trespasses. And, and but lead us not into temptation. Uh, lead us not into temptation. What's your temptation, Hannah? Oh, temptation to deviate you from your path. Temptation. Of oh, I see. So it's not as I say, temptation in my body. Yes. Say. It's temptation tempt you to do not go towards other people or yourself, yourself most. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, temptation. Lead us not in. You know, lead us not into. You know. Eating loads of chocolate and just sitting uh, not down and doing nothing, not having a goal. Like a procrastination. Pro- that's what it is, is procrastination. Temptation to uh, not fulfill Like your I am potential. tempted to jab you with this pen. Lead, yeah. take, do not. Yeah, do not harm. Lead, lead do not, not do to another person which you wouldn't want to have it done it to yourself. Ah! Okay, now can I do it to you? <laughs> deliver, us from, <laughs> deliver us from evil. Yeah, you can call it, but like, you know. Deliver us from evil. It was written for simple people. That's that's why there is all metaphors. Ireland, a simple people and a simple something. A savage eye. Yes. I thought we were going to pl- do the outro of. Um, oh yeah, well we already played it. So yeah, well we're doing the outro. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of, and that's why we're not together family podcast uh, thank you very much Hannah uh, thank you very much my two princes Jack and Daniel uh, I, I couldn't thank do you, it David. with without you I wouldn't want to do it without you peace and love everybody do your best the next right thing whatever I'm, I'm that is I'm doing my best 